Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr, in for Mark Curtis tonight. We turn to our big story first. The surge of COVID-19 in Arizona continues. Here are the latest numbers from the Arizona Department of Health Services. Right now, at least 1.5% of the state has contracted COVID-19. In today's report, the state says there are 4,000 new cases of the virus and 75 more deaths. Maricopa County alone accounts for nearly two out of every three cases and half of the death, deaths. Rather. Team 12's Bram Resnick was at today's news conference and joins us with a breakdown of what we learned. Bram? Yeah, in a week when Arizona's coronavirus spread was made national headlines, it's out of control, the governor didn't take many steps to respond to that. Let's look at some of the, the takeaways from today's news conference. Restaurant capacity is limited to 50% of the fire code. It appears that something like that was already in place as many as three weeks ago. Testing will be boosted more than 60% by the end of August. A good thing. Didn't catch much word on how long test turnaround might take. That's been a problem of late. But there was nothing on pushing back school start date from August 17th. Nothing on other business limitations. But the governor did make this pledge. I also want people to know that I hear the criticism and I know that there are differing opinions out there on how Arizona has handled this virus. And I want to make a commitment to the people of Arizona. My decisions are not going to be influenced by any attempt to please the press and they will not be influenced by politics in any way. The governor believes that mask requirements ordered by cities as well as a bar and gym shutdown should begin to make a difference in two to four weeks. He says they may already be making a difference. Independent and infectious disease specialists I've spoken to aren't nearly as confident as the governor is. Live in downtown Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram, thank you.